Today is the 21st of August, the day of the great American eclipse. Now those who have been watching my videos know that I believe that we might be living in the end times. I mean, I am not a prophet. I'd rather be no prophet than a false prophet, but I watch the signs. And I made videos about how I believe Donald Trump might be the Antichrist. I've made videos about how the Whore of Babylon, the modern religious right that was born in Lynchburg, Virginia, a city on seven hills. And the Bible is full of signs and wonders from the skies. And today, an eclipse will come from Oregon all the way down to South Carolina. In seven years, there will be another total eclipse coming from Mexico all the way into Canada. And seven years is very important. I mean, it's not an entire seven years, but seven years is very important uh, in premillennialism because that is the duration of the tribulation seven years tribulation and while I believe in a tribulation and a greater tribulation that um, the Antichrist while will reign for seven years I believe the first three and a half years will be a time of testing Jesus talks a lot about the testing of um, the the wheat and the chaff and mentions in Matthew 24 that it will be a time of testing that even the elect might be possibly swaying over to the Antichrist if that was possible. If those days weren't cut short. And said, the sun will be darkened and the new moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Now, a lot of people say, well, this can't happen until the rapture. So, Donald Trump cannot be the Antichrist. But, 2 Thessalonians 2, which is one of the scriptures that best talks about the rapture, says, 3. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed. Revealed. I believe the rebellion has already happened as uh, you see in 2 Timothy 3, 3, but mark this, in the last days there will be terrible times. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, and a form of godliness but denying its power. That's what the Christian church is, the American Christian church is. And six, and now you know what is holding him back, so that he may be revealed at the proper time. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work. But the one who now holds it back will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. A lot of people believe that is the church, and that describes the rapture. And whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy the splendor of his coming. But, also says later on, in 10, they perish because they refuse to love the truth and be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion, so that they will believe the lie, and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth, but delighted in wickedness. The pre-tribulation rapture is that delusion. I mean, it got started by Darby and um, Schofield, and is the gospel truth of the religious right. So isn't it ironic that the religious right are using prophecy and that will be their own doom? So, if something happens today, if there's a terrorist attack, an assassination attempt, if North Korea does something, if something happens that would be Trump's Reichstag, that would lead to him taking control, total control of America, I would not be surprised. I pray I'm wrong. I thought other bad things were going to happen. Like last Halloween, I thought there would be a terrorist attack. I thought that Jeff Sessions might be uh, whacked when he went to El Salvador. I was wrong on both counts, so I'm probably wrong on this one. I hope I'm wrong on this one. I want Jesus to return. But like they say, it's not death that I'm afraid of. It's a dying that frightens me. But anyway.